Hey everybody, today I got a, uh, another little foldable drone. This is a Jai Star Sky Hunter. Real basic uh, quadcopter. Um, no camera or anything fancy on this version. Just a, a fun little line of sight flyer. So let's go ahead and look at it. I got it in a box because it's so neatly packaged in this that I would like, kind of like to show it. It comes, it's so compact. Comes with a little controller and a nice little foam insert. So let's go ahead and take the quadcopter out. Really little, as you can see, how little this guy is. Just a really, really small quadcopter. Um, and you could, you could put this in your pocket if you got a big enough pocket. I mean, this is really compact for taking it around. And the landing gear is attached and comes uh, folded down. So I, this is one of the better uh, foldable uh, drones that I've seen. A really nice flyer too. And of course it has these loose props that lock into a place with the momentum of the propellers like the DJI Mavic. So let's go ahead and we'll open it up here. Just open the arms up. They don't have a locking mechanism per se, but they do snap, kind of snap into place. So if you crash, it's possible you could knock the arm out of place and you would just need to pop it back where it goes. You just uh, lift up the landing gear here, and there it's all ready to go. Just really basic. You can see there's no camera on the front. You can see where there would be a spot for one. There's also a spot on the bottom here where they would have an SD card in the other version, but this is just a basic one. On and off switch here. See green LEDs in the front, red in the back. The battery that comes with it, I've got it here in the uh, in the inside of it. It's a uh, 1S 3.7 volt, a 650 milliamp hour battery. And this guy um, gets you a pretty good flight time, about 10 and a half minutes. So it does fly very long, but it does tend to have, at least for me. A rather long LVC alarm of several minutes. So you may think you need to land and then it continues to fly and fly. It just keeps going. So you know, as soon as the LVC goes off, you do not need to land this guy. It comes with a really nice little uh, USB charger that plugs in with using the micro uh, low C connector. And this takes an uh, hour and a half to charge it up. It comes with a Phillips screwdriver and it comes with a um, full set of props. See if you break any props. And it comes with this really nice um, PlayStation 4 style uh, controller. Really comfortable with a nice texture to it. Uh, it's got the little LCD screen here and your battery and rates and if you're um, synced up with the uh, signal meter and stuff like that. It does have some controls here for camera functions and photo if you've got that version. This is your trim buttons. Pressing in on the right stick here is uh, for your 360 flips in the direction that you want to go. Press on your left enters you in and out of headless mode. Now on the back here you've got um, your L1 and L2 and your L2 and R2 which is also a lot like PlayStation. The, um, the L1 on this side, this is your rates. It's got the um, I believe it's got three rates on it. Yeah, high, intermediate, low, and your uh, R1 here is for um, turning the lights on and off. You want to save a little battery power. It's also got your L2 and your R2. Your R2 here is for auto landing, so you hold that in and auto land. Your L2 here is for your automatic takeoff. So with altitude hold, as you can see, it has. You can tell it to take off and then you can tell it to land and it does all that really nicely. So pretty basic controls, uh, basic quadcopter, not a whole lot to it, but also not super expensive. Just a really fun flyer. It flies really, really well. So if you're someone who's starting out and looking for a, a drone and you like the foldable style that's going around now too, I highly recommend this one because it flies well, has a long flight time and uh, you know, it doesn't have a whole bunch of fancy gadgets to worry about, or just real basic. So really good uh, for a beginner. Now, I didn't see any gyro calibration in this one, but when you turn it on, you will see the lights flash and then go solid after you bind it. I think it does an auto gyro calibration, which many of them do also when you start it up. But it, so if you needed to recalibrate uh, the gyros, as far as I can tell, you need to uh, turn it off put on a level service, turn it on, that'll calibrate it. You can also unlock the props by doing a uh, down and out on both sticks. 
and then just manually take off or you can of course do the auto take off. Okay, so I think that covers it all there. So let's go ahead and we'll move along now to the flight review. All right, so I got the Sky Hunter out here. We're gonna go ahead and take it out for a test flight. I'm also using my new Firefly 8S camera on my head with an external mic. So hopefully this audio turns out really good. Um, definitely check out my review on that camera. It's a really nice camera. So go ahead and turn it on here and uh, set it down on the ground. Turn on my controller. Go ahead and bind it. Let's go ahead and do an uh, auto takeoff here. You gotta go ahead and uh, unlock the props. Yeah, let's go ahead and go do an auto takeoff. That's just the lowest rate. And as you can see, those LEDs are not easy to see in the daytime, but, but it's a nice flyer though. Very smooth, very quiet, agile. Let's go ahead and take it up to a higher rate there. That's the intermediate rate and that's the highest rate. It's a really nice flyer. Bring it down a little bit lower here, make sure you get it in the field of view for you guys. Let's go ahead and um, that was turning the LEDs on and off and there they're back on. It is hard to see that. Let's go ahead and do an auto landing, holding down R2. That's going to go ahead and bring it down. So yeah, we went and landed pretty good. So to start it back up again, you're obviously going to uh, you, you unlock them and then press the L2 to take off. You have to hold it for about a second and then it takes off. It's just holding its altitude nicely. Not a lot of breeze today, so it flies really nice and there's no breeze. It almost looks like it has position hold. <laughs> nice flyer if you get it trimmed up well. Let's try some 360 flips here. We'll press in on the right stick. It flips really nicely from what I've done, uh, tested in the past. Flip forward. And it raises itself up so it gives it a nice amount of clearance. Let's flip to the left. Let's flip to the right. So it flies really, really well. We're still in the highest rate, so it's a pretty aggressive flyer in the highest rate. I find I think the yaw is just about perfect. Go back down to the lowest rate and see much slower, less pitch. And there's a little bit of a breeze from left to right here today. You can see it's having a little harder time into it. There's the intermediate rate and it's having a little, a little easier time into it. Let's go ahead and we'll let it kind of wind blow it back towards us. See, it's a little bit more sportier in the intermediate rate. Let's go ahead and take it up to the highest rate. You see, a little more pitch, so I got more aggressive. Altitude hold, you know, helps keep it from kind of dive bombing because it has so much pitch. Just a fun little line of sight flyer, nothing fancy, no FPV, no camera, no recordings. LEDs look nice if you fly it at night. Like I said, during the day, it is hard to see those LEDs, which is not unexpected on a 1S LiPo. So if you're concerned about the LVC and it, you know, running out of power, just use a timer by around nine minutes, make sure you're close or bring it down. But 
it kind of eases itself down as it loses power. It doesn't just cut the battery. So something light like this, it's very lightweight. You're not going to have any problems. If it loses power, it's just going to come on down. So I would not be too concerned about that. Just overall a nice little drone for someone just to practice and learn with. Very portable, the folding arms. Seems fairly well constructed. I really like this controller a lot. So of all the foldable drones that I have flown, I would rank this one right up there with the Vizio one that I reviewed that looks a lot like a DJI Mavic in terms of its ability to fly and uh, just this overall design and this one just works really well of course the Vizio has a camera this one doesn't so you just want a line of sight flyer without all the frills and fancy stuff this is a highly recommended one we got a little wind picking up here now but let's go ahead and we'll uh, do another auto landing it's got to remember to hold the button in a couple of times there I was just tapping the takeoff button and the uh, land button you have to actually hold the R2 or L2 in to get both of those features to work so overall this is a neat drone uh, very uh, affordable and really good for a starting drone so I appreciate you watching be sure to subscribe if you're not a subscriber and have a good day the power of the dark side, side, side.